and welcome back to another video by Less Tax to Pay. Today we're going to be doing uh, zero and creating customer statements. A very, very simple thing to do, but make sure that the money still keeps coming in. So before I get into the video, as I always say, if you like the videos, drop a like. If you leave a comment, if you have a question, please, I encourage it. Leave a comment in the video and also subscribe to the channel. There's more videos going to be coming out. I know they've been a bit sporadic but there are more videos coming out. So let's get into dealing with customer statements inside Zero. It's a very, very simple option. This is going to be a very, very quick video, and then you can see how quick it is to make sure that your customers are aware of how much money they owe you. So let's get into it. So you see we're in our dashboard at the moment, and the standard things on the dashboard. But if we go to business, then invoices, you see we've got a lot of invoices here. Some are waiting for payment, some are paid, and everything else. It's a very, very simple option. We just go to here, which it says send statements. Now you can see we've got two types of statements here. We've got activity and outstanding. Now activity will be invoices and payments, so it shows a sort of a, a run through of what's happening on the account. The outstanding will only show the outstanding invoices. So it depends on what type of statement you want to do, you can choose. But I'll show you both just very quickly. Um, you also have here the date that you're running the statement between. So if it's the 1st of June or maybe earlier, you might go to the start of the year. So if I go to the start of January um, and just update it very quickly, it doesn't really change. But what we see is we see that there's some overdues and there's some outstanding balances. So let's have a look at the two different uh, types of statements. So this is the activity statement, just here, okay, and it shows you payment on invoice, invoice number, the opening balance, everything else. It gives you a very, very detailed uh, activity on the account and just shows what's outstanding at, at the end of the, what's balance is due. Okay, so that is the um, statement on the activity. Now if you just want to see the outstanding, if we go to here, you can see it's just literally showing you what's outstanding. So if there's multiple invoices outstanding, it would show the multiple invoices. It wouldn't show the payments. Now, I personally would send the activity because if people go, well, I paid it. If you send them the activity, you can show them that what payments you've had and what invoices you've drawn up. So it's very, very clear. So my recommendation would be send the activity rather than the outstanding. So that's it really for the for the sending of statements. Like I said, it's very, very simple. If you did notice that when we cl clicked outstanding update, it did drop some of these out just to literally for the outstanding. But again, it's a very, very simple tool to make sure, certainly in this climate we're in at the moment, that everything is still ticking along, still turning over, people are still paying you money, there's not that it's dropping off and everything else, so you make sure that your systems are up to date and your processes are right. So just use this just to make sure that it's very simple, and like I said, you can print, select all, you can email all of them, so if you've got an email address in there, it'll email them straight away so you don't even have to worry, or if you wanted to print them all, it'll print them all, and then you can obviously send with an individual email address. Personally, I would just send the email out, they know who you are, they know what it will be um, and also in the defaults that you can send when you're sending emails you can see that you can set the tone of the email uh, that's being sent out so that's it from me today like I said it's a very very quick video so like I said at the start if you like the video drop a like if you want to leave a comment leave a comment if you want to ask a question do that in the comment section as well and also subscribe to the page and hit that bell notification more videos will be coming out much more regularly, so I'll see you then.